So today we're going to be talking everything Kajabi automated webinars. We're going to be showing you how to actually convert your webinars into an on-demand webinar. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I want to offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you now is how to automate your webinar. So a lot of people have run webinars in the past, live webinars, and actually want to automate it so it's actually available 24-7. Now there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the simplest way to do this. But a bit of a caveat, I would always try and run a live webinar first so you can get a lot of feedback from those attendees into if it's helping them, if it's the right offer, if it's resonating with them. And if they have any questions, then you might want to sort of tweak how you deliver your, your webinar or even your offer or your sales page. So I'm assuming you have ran a live webinar or at least got a recording of a live webinar if you're not happy with the recording because there's too much like interaction or something you could just uh, start from scratch and do a recording of that training just go back into your slides and do another recording so it's a little bit cleaner and it's for the recorded audience and you can ab absolutely say at the start of that recording hey this video is recorded so you're going to need a few elements then. You're going to need a form. You're going to need to build out a form so people opt in to your free training. And the whole point of this is to collect leads, add value, and then position an offer. So this is like the OVO, the opt-in, the value, and then the offer. But this is automated. So some people uh, like to actually put a, you can opt in for a certain time and use certain third-party plugins. But I would probably just say, set up a webinar and let people get it on demand so they can watch it whenever and and however they like so you're going to need a form for that opt-in you're going to need a landing page to host that form and then you're going to need a landing page to actually host the training and then that, that's got to click through to your actual offer so i'm going to show you i'm going to actually dive i'm in my partner's account right now i'm going to dive into um, my account I'm going to show you how I set this up as my auto automated webinar so I have a workshop this is how I've actually set out the form I've entitled it workshop form or just workshop I have a single opt-in and then here I just collect an email field and then from that email field I then have um, I have this form deliver a, a, an email so this if they navigate away from it they have this in their inbox and then this is the link to the landing page that hosts the training. So I have a an on-demand workshop, how to or learn how to earn your first $1,000 of online revenue. So that is going to be delivered once somebody actually gets this form and it's going to add them to my new subscriber sequence. But the next page they see, if I go on to the form page, this is the really, really simple landing page. Uh, learn how to earn your first $1,000 of online revenue without having to start from scratch. As they opt in, the next page they see will be the training page as well. So they're going to get it in their inbox as an automation. Then they're going to be taken to the next page as well. So I use Recapture here as well. So it just tries to eliminate those bots. But as you click into the landing page or into the form, you can see which form it's being delivered. Make sure you have a bespoke form for this funnel flow. 
then the landing page is just watch workshop again try and name each landing page with a descriptor so you know which landing page it is and if you can just try and select landing page not url because if that url changes for any reason it might break the funnel and then just be really really simple so free on demand workshop uh, get on demand access simply enter your best email address and you will get instant access to the workshop submit that's it and then the actual the next page they're going to be seeing here is watch my online revenue workshop and i've uploaded a recording of my workshop here simply just they click play and that's it um i've got a, a, a learn more button just scroll down here where i call them to action inside the workshop to actually click learn more to see what my offer is all about so currently i'm positioning my coaching services uh, that might change in the future but that learn more button will take them through. So if I was to go to, uh, if I go to my my homepage, if you have an on-demand webinar, you need to be seeding that throughout your, your homepage and your other pages. So I have uh, buttons here that watch free workshop, go straight through to the landing page, which then goes straight through to the actual, the play page, um, and then links to the actual call to action to go and see whatever sales page you're putting out but try and have this peppered throughout your website so here i've got it on my about page i've got it at the bottom of my about page have a look at every page on your website and it should either be calling them to action to try and get emails providing value and getting their email address and then in my blog post here as well i have an online revenue workshop as well and then if you go into each blog post it's got it down at the bottom as well so i'm calling them to action on every single page of my website even if they are on my coaching page i'm calling them to action to actually apply for my coaching so that's how i do it have a think how you want to put if you're at that stage that you want to put an evergreen or on-demand webinar on your website just think of the funnel flow and then build out those separate components or you can actually start a funnel and do it through the funnel blueprint uh, on the OVO so it's entirely up to you think about how you want to do that but the bottom line is the more opt-ins you can put out there the more emails you can gain the more offers you can put out there the more sales you make it's as simple as that So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.